Hello everyone. So today we are here to discuss about a specific immune response which is called hypersensitivity. What is hypersensitivity? See, our immune system is designed to protect us from harmful pathogen. It is its first duty to protect us, to safeguard us. But in some case, what happened in some individual, immune system start giving highly sensitive, overrated, abnormal immune response towards an uh, antigen which is seemingly harmless. Joki a harmless antigen ki against B immune response dena shuru kar deta. And that too in an abnormal way. Abnormal way means it is in a damaging way. So that is called hypersensitivity. Now the question comes what is harmless antigen? An antigen for which 80 to 90 percent of population is not giving any response. That antigen is called harmless antigen. Okay. So now the question comes, does this these type of immune responses comes at very first encounter? No. Kabhi bhi is type ke immune responses first encounter pe nahi hote. These hypersensitive immune responses comes when an antigen is encounter uh, attack an individual second time or in subsequent encounters. In sub second and subsequent encounters only these hypersensitive responses are generated. Now what type of antigen are these? This can be two types. These can be of two types. One is environmental which is exogenous and the second one is endogenous antigen which is called autoantigen. Means some cell inside the body has started recognizing as a foreign particle. And then the immune response is called autoimmune response. This is an autoimmune disorder. See, hypersensitivity as a whole is an immune disorder. You know, chivo abnormal higher overexpressive response so that is also disorder if that response is against some endogenous cell some auto antigen then also it's a disorder but this autoimmune responses are severe very very dangerous so if we classify the hypersensitivity then on the basis of type of cells involved the hypersensitivity can be divided into four types. Type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. The first three that is type 1, type 2 and type 3 are antibody mediated whereas the type 4 hypersensitivity reactions are cellular mediated. Here we are going to discuss about type 1 hypersensitivity. What is type 1 hypersensitivity? See the type 1 hypersensitivity in common language, in layman language, it is called allergy. Jo allergies, jo samanya bhasha mein jine hum allergies kehte hain, these are type 1 hypersensitivity. These are, called, the, these are caused by some environmental driving antigens, which may be food, food like fish, like eggs, like peanut butter, like gluten. And it may be against some pollen or dust particle. You must have seen, you must have observed that some people, when come in counter of dust, they start sneezing badly. Right? You know, maybe the other, if two people are sneezing, one or one is not in the dust, mein, that the person who has started sneezing badly in the presence of some dust or pollen grains, this is because its body is treating that allergen that antigen as an allergen allergy causing antigen yeah so that is type 1 hypersensitivity some you you must have uh, faced that doctor asked many times doctor asks before medicating you that do you have any medication allergy do you have an allergy against any medicine so because 
Sometime in some individuals, some environmental uh, antigen may be taken very seriously by their immune system and they start giving highly exaggerated immune response against those antigens and that too in a very, very harmful way. Okay, so uh, when we are talking about type 1 hypersensitivity, we don't say antigen, we say allergen. Antigen term is replaced by the term allergen here because these are co allergy causing antigens. Okay, so about the mechanism, what is the mechanism? If you talk about the mechanism, as I said earlier also, that these type of hypersensitivity doesn't come at the first encounter. It comes after second and subsequent encounter of same allergy. So what happened? The first phase is called sensitization. Sensitization means preparation of a body toward that allergen. I will no more be calling it as intention. I will be calling it an allergen. Okay. So, subs, aapki body ki priming hai toward that allergen, toward that antigen. Okay. And that is in this phase, no hypersensitive response is coming. Only body is preparing. How does it prepare? See, like if we take the example of pollen or dust. So, what happened? Your pollen, as soon as an individual which is sensitive to dust or pollen, comes in contact with these uh, allergens, its allergens are picked up by its skin or by its nose and carried to APC cells. What APC cells do? APCs are antigen presenting cells. These pick up these allergens, process them inside and present them on their surface complex with MSC molecule. So APC pick, the, pick up these illusions, process them and express them on their surface. And then they move to the lymph nodes. In, lymph, in Inside the lymph nodes, they in, come in contact with naive T4 cells. What does naive T4 cells mean? A naive T4 cell is that T4 cell which has not encountered any allergen so far. And while it do so, it is converted into mature T4 cell. What mature T4 cell do? They start secreting different type of interleukins. Interleukin 4, 5, 13 and so many others. What does these interleukin do? They act on B cells and convert them into antibody producing plasma cells. And we all know that B cells are destined to produce different type of antibody, class of antibodies. You know? M, G, E, sorry, different types of, all five types of different antibodies they are destined to produce. But in presence of interleukin 4, what happens? A process of class switching occurs. And what does it do? It causes the production class switching of other antibody producing cells into E producing cell. A B cell cable or cable E co produce that there or sari antibody ka production band ho jata. It only start producing E cell. So what what actually has happened? Just an allergen has come. It was picked and processed by APC. Then it was carried to the lymph nodes where it interacted with T4 cells. They matured after interaction with APC cells and started producing interleukins which converted A, B, B cells into plasma B cells. And in the presence of interleukin 4, class switching process occurred. And now B cells are only producing antibody immunoglobulin E which has specificity against that particular allergen. It can see antibody produce hoge hai, jo us an allergen ke against hai. Uske against, it is carrying specificity against that allergen. Now, see, till now nothing has happened. Abhi bhi, koi response nahi aaya. This is sensitization. Now we will see what is antibody E. 
We all know that antibodies are made up of their immunoglobulin and they are made up of four chains. You know, two light chain and two heavy chain. And they have two reasons. That is FAB reason and FC reason. FAB reason is antigen binding reason and FC reason is made up of heavy chains. Okay. Now, beside IgE, there are other importances which play major role in type 1 hypersensitivity. And these cells are mast cells, basophil cells, isnophil cells, arctic and mast cells and basophil cells. Mast cells are very, very, very important. What are mast cells? Mast cells are cell factories of chemical mediators. Many chemical mediators are synthesized and stored uh, inside the masses. And these uh, mediators causes inflammation. These are inflammation mediators. So what happens? These masses on their uh, inside they have chemical mediators, and on the surface they have some type, some receptors which are called FCRs. Similarly, basophil also have these receptors which are called FCR. What is FCR? FCRs are the receptor for FC reason of IgE. What is FCR? FCR is a receptor for FC reason of IgE. IgE ke FC reason ke against ye receptor se on the surface of mast cells and basophil cells. So what happens? These E produced by after class switching by B cells bind to these receptors on mast cells and basophil cells. Ab ye kaise ho gain? Ye ek armed force men ki tare ho gain. Shoujer ki tare ho gain. Now these cells are wholly primed. Hmm? They have receptors bound with IgE and that IgE is the one which can uh which can recognize if that allergen comes second time. Hey na? Ye to usi ke against synthesize hui thi that it has a specificity against that particular allergen. So if the second time these, in, this, uh, these allergen come, these cells can function. So these are like armed cells. These are armed cells. Okay. Bound by IG. Now, this is the end of sensitization. Now, the body is fully primed for that particular antigen. Now, what happens? Then the second phase comes, that is called phase of reaction. That phase of reaction is the time where, is the time when the hypersensitive responses actually took place. And now, what happens when this allergen encounter the second time when the when the individual is encountered by the same allergen on the second or subsequent uh, time what happened these allergens are bound to these antibodies ige mast cell mein jo ye antibodies lage hain ye inko fatafat recognize karti and they bound to these allergens yahan par ye allergen bound hai as soon as they bind to the ige bound to the mast cell surface pe then a process of degranulization, some internal signaling starts and the degranulization process occurs, which causes a release of these chemicals pre-stored by the mast cell, pre-synthesized and stored by the mast cell. Jo bhi mast cell ke under chemical mediators hai, wo release hote hai. And there are so many mediators like histamine, serotonin, heparin, lysosome, enzyme, so many. Among them, histamine is of most importance. And uh, what does it do? Actually, it dilates the blood vessel. And then when it dilates the blood vessel, it causes the delivery of many other uh, cells and mediator to that point of allergy. delivery mediators And that causes the local edema. You you must have noticed that uh, like uh, allergy usually that patch is red. You know, that is, and that is felt warmth also. And, and there's an itching. So that itching, redness, which is called local udima, and the increase in the temperature of that patch, 
that is all because of histamine released by mast cell and that are released because mast cells were primed with the IgE antibody which were produced during the sensitization phase. You know, histamine kyun release release wa? Kyunki degranulation wa? Degranulation kyun wa? Kyunki mast cell ke paas anti e antibody lagi li thi surface pe FCR reason pe aur ye kab mani thi? जब पहला इनकाउंटर हुआ था एंटी एलर्जन का तो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दिस साइंस ऑफ एलर्जी कम्स ओके तो दिस इज अ फेस ऑफ द फेस ऑफ रिएक्शन हियर द रिस्पॉन्सेस कम एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपन यूजुअली दीज रिस्पॉन्सेस आर वेरी इमीडिएट इट कम्स विद इन द सेकंड एंड मिनट एज सुन एज सम एलर्जन इज इनकाउंटर्ड सो दीज आर आल्सो कॉल्ड इमीडिएट हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी हम we also call type 1 hypersensitivity as immediate hypersensitivity and since ige play major role it is also called ige mediated hypersensitivity and this is coming this these responses are coming within seconds to minutes but sometime uh the responses may last for hours and that because of some newly synthesized chemical mediator see in the previous thing what we said that these uh, mediators are released which were previously synthesized pehle se bane hue the mast cell ke andar pehle se ye mediators chemical mediators pehle se synthesized ho ke store the and unki it just unka degranulation hua unka release hua hai na तो ये बहुत इमीडिएट रिस्पॉन्स आया बट कभी कभी क्या होता है कि मीडिएटर्स न्यूली सिंथेसाइज होते हैं दे आर न्यूली सिंथेसाइज बाय द सेल्स एंड इन दैट केस आपका रिस्पॉन्स थोड़ा टाइम लेता है एंड दैट इज बिकॉज जो सेल में फोस्फोलिपिड्स होते हैं दैट आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू सम एलेक्ट्रॉनिक एसिड बेस मीडिएटर्स दैट कैन बी पॉस्टिक ल्यूकोट्राइंस इन ईस्नोफेल्स इनकी वजह से हमारे थोड़ा लॉन्ग लास्ट टाइम रिस्पॉन्स क्रिएट होते हैं ओके तो एस एन होल इफ आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मॉस्किटो बाइट वट हैपन्स वेन मॉस्किटो बाइट वट हैपन्स आर दे एरिया इज रेड देर इज एन रेडनेस इन द एरिया देर इज अ बम्प इन द एरिया एंड देर इज एन इचिंग दैट ऑल इज बिकॉज ई जी ई मीडिएटेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिस reaction and that is all because of histamine release there are some other example like hay fever asthma all these are the example of type 1 hypersensitivity when these hypersensitivity reactions are very very severe then they become very very severe some attack ek attack jaise aa jaye jab aise aapka system response ho severe to hote hi hai hypersensitive reaction but when they are very very severe then they are called anaphylaxis and when these have some family history like uh, the son has allergy against pollen because his mother has allergy against mother because forefather had so if there is in family history against some allergen then that condition is called atopy so this is as in whole is type 1 hypersensitivity which is ige mediated hypersensitivity which is membrane bound uh, ige mediated hypersensitivity you have to keep in remember ki ye wali jo hypersensitivity hai wo antibody ke through to ho rahi hai but that antibody is not free flowing wo free flowing antibody nahi hai but it is a surface bound antibody it is bound to the mast cell surfaces है ना या बेसोफेल मास सेल के सरफेस में उनके रिसेप्टर्स के साथ बाउंड हुई रहती है एंटीबॉडी तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस व्हिच वी विल सी बिटवीन द टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग टाइप टू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो टिल नाउ यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इज इमीडिएट हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इट इज कॉज बाय आई एंड इट इज अ सर्फेस बाउंड एंटीबॉडी not free flowing and these are the examples and the process as in short is divided into two phase
First is the sensitization phase and the second is the phase of reaction. Thank you.